Hi everyone. This is your teacher Bilal Ahmed, and uh, this is the summary of today's math class. This is the unit one. We are learning from numbers to hundred. As you guys know, on page 12 and 13, we learn about how to write numbers from 1 to 100. And we talked about 1s and 10s, the place values. Today, we learned on page 14 and 15, numbers from 0 to 100. We revised, we revised uh, the numbers from zero to hundred. We we practice as saying numbers from one to hundred during the class. And after learning numbers, <clears throat> we learn how to count on and how to count back in step of one and 10. Here you guys can see on page 13. Here is the page number 13. You guys can see. Uh, today, you will learn how to write missing number. Okay, so here is the box where you guys can see the numbers from 1 to 100. And uh, here, you need to find uh, what is the missing number. Okay, so here is the 21, right? And here is a 30. So look on, look on the, the number 100 square. Where is the 21? You need to find where is the 21. Here is the one and here is the two. Now look at this, here is the 21. So what will be the next number? When you count two digit number, the ones will change, okay? The first number ones will change, but tens will be same, right? So here is a 21, as you guys can see, the ones change, two change, but tens didn't, okay? 23, three changed, but two, same. Four change the ones and tens, same. So as you guys notice that ones change, but tens doesn't. So let's solve this exercise, uh, how to find a missing number. Okay, here is a 21. So I'm going to change the tens. <clears throat> what comes after ones? Two. And the 10 will same. Ones change, but tens doesn't. Now again, here is the ones. What comes after two? Three and the tens remains same. 24, 25, what comes after five? Six and tens same. After six, seven and tens, eight and tens, two, nine, and tens, and after nine, zero. After <clears throat> nine, okay, the tens will change into 30. 
okay so here is the uh, here are the missing numbers from 21 to 30. so basically in this exercise you guys will learn how the rows change in the hundred square so ones change but tens doesn't right so here we have uh, more examples you guys can see Okay, so here is the 31. You have to find out the missing number. So here is the ones. So ones will change. Okay, because after one, two. After two, three. After three, four. After five, six. After six, seven, eight, and nine. But the tens will be same. The tens in the row will doesn't change. So this is the row counting, right? So here, the ones change, but tens doesn't. So here, what is the ones? Two, 61, 62, and 63. Six remains same. Here is the four, 64, five. And you guys have to write all these numbers after 65. Okay, let's uh, look on the book. So here you have to complete this exercise. This is the row uh, number, okay, where ones change, but tens doesn't. So you have to finish these uh, three exercises. Okay, how about uh, the column counting? When you count in columns, let me zoom in. So here is the column. How columns change? When you count from top to bottom in the column counting, so it will be one, the tens will same and ones will change, okay? Tens will same and uh, uh, the tens will remain and will change, change the value after three, four and one. After four, ones change, but tens same. What is the next one? This is ones and this is tens. Seven and one. So in this way, you need to finish these exercises, okay? So this is the column from top to bottom and row from left to right. So in today's, <clears throat> exercise <clears throat> you learn how to count in rows and how to count in columns thank you so much guys for watching goodbye take care